Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me for this next episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. I've spent the last probably 20 to 30 minutes going to town, going to the gunsmith. I've spent a few hundred dollars upgrading every single gun I have. I cleaned them all. I forgot to give Arthur a haircut, so we gotta get there eventually, but I feel like he looks a lot nicer. And then I think I need to give Charles some moonshine. I think this is what this is. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning. Oh yeah, I give request. Got that moonshine for you. Okay, thanks. I'll make some arrows for you later. Sounds good. Oh my gosh, we gotta get a haircut. I'm looking too much like Micah right now. Speaking of Micah, <laughs> let's go do Micah's mission, see what he wants. I'm gonna let- well, no, there's no food. I was about to say I'll let Arthur eat. I fed him a few biscuits on the way to the gunsmith, so he's probably fine. Alright, let's see. What does this boy Micah want? Micah? Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Okay. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? <laughs> like a corner tiger. <laughs> 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 Anyway, okay, Calpo. Somehow it didn't, but we got to talk. <laughs> what does that even mean? They suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. No, I don't, I'm not buying them. They're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's That's what I was probably thinking. a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. You you men? shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. Gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. Long time ago. Then he killed... A woman I love dear. Mm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. We doing this? Okay. I mean, Mike is- that's the first logical thing he's said. Probably in years. His, maybe his whole life. Fine. Mount up then, Morgan. Let's go then. Let's do it. You're not leading us into a trap, are you, Micah? I'm you so know, sus of him. I've been fighting Cone for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Oh, uh, shut up. Maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had. Pinkerton's coming after us because of Blackwater and Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head. Mm. And we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll. There no. is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but 
Like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in. What just happened? Stand with you to cover us. Hmm? Okay, just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. But oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. What the oh, hell my is dear happening? And trusted friend. With you watching over me? Is he running into I me? Walk into hell itself. Aww. As would I. I will try my best to protect you, gentlemen. Well, not you, Micah, but Dutch. <laughs> I will try. Okay. Hey, up there. Men on the ridge. Yep. Oh, Driscoll's from the look of them. Men on the ridge. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. And they have height we'll on the us. Eyes soon enough. Easy. Well, Maybe look at those horses. Right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just you think I see all those mouths we got to feed and I I dream too big. Caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much. There's no such thing. This is horse shit. <laughs> both of you. It might be. <laughs> Micah might be full of shit. Oh, he is. He Como is. 100% he is. Might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too. But it's worth trying for. It is worth it. Believing in. Okay. Are we going over there? Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. I'm trying. I feel like Arthur being nervous is valid. Like you can't say it isn't. All right, Cowpoke. You're gonna peel off up ahead. Who are you calling we'll Cowpoke? Cowpoke. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. Okay. All right. All right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Let's hope this goes well. I mean, the odds of Dutch dying, I feel like, are probably 0%. Mike it though. He might lose a finger. That's okay. Yeah. Where do they want me at? Oh, way up here. Okay. No, 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 no. That looks wrong. Right here. Ish. Isn't Valentine somewhere near here too? Maybe a little further beyond those trees. Oh my gosh! Look at that bird. There's a carcass right there. There goes nothing. Is that him? Hello, Dutch. Como Driscoll. Been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. Those like are fine I said, words. Is a charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch. 
to bring you in? Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Ooh. <laughs> oh boy. There was a setup. I don't know. Column's got a sense. Handing them over to the lords. I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella Colum's right, we can draw them all back. True. Where'd Colum and Patrick head off to? In a time. He's escaping! Shoot him! Relax! Relax. I got him. I got him. <laughs> Did I kill you? Oh, not yet. <laughs> uh, of course not. Uh, not yet. But I will. <laughs> I... Oh, I messed up. I don't know. I gotta do it again. Weapons over there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's calm, right? Arthur Morgan. Good to see you. Uh, hello, Gomb. <laughs> How's Woo? I hardly feel it. You will. <laughs> Seth, it ain't nice. Oh. Now, tell me. Fine gun like you. Uh, Why are you uh, still running around with old Dutch? Could come right with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Gomb. Oh, no. Uh, it's Dutch's famous car. Uh, 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 you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Uh, six point guy. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, nope. you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached true. Let me go, Cole. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sword. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you. Hand you. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He's gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Oh, Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you. Uh. You guys, I'm thinking something, and I don't like that I'm thinking it, but I'm thinking something. Isn't Micah the one that told him to be on the ridge? By himself, with the sniper. Did that not come out of Micah's mouth first? You can swing on your shackles to reach the metal file. This can be used. Okay.
Can I grab it? Nice, 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 nice. Was I closing the arteries? What was I doing? <gasps> Arthur, what in the world? Cauterize. Do I tap it? Yeah. Oh, you boys. In a you got me. Oh, you boys messed up. Hell? You got a world of hurt coming to you guys. Three throwing What's he knives. What's doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man. It's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. He better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law <clears> comes <throat> for that side of beef. <laughs> Leave the area on a horse. Where are the horses at, though? They have a gun? I see one horse, okay. I go around this way. Who are they torturing? Oh, I gotta kill him. Wait, do I not have to kill him? I'm worried about making noise. Oh my god, I gotta start over. Run! Zigzag! 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 No! <laughs> that might have been the world's worst gun I have ever picked up. I know I missed a couple of shots, but even the ones I hit him were trash. What's he still doing down there? Okay. It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through storage of the homeland. I completely forgot. I have three up. throwing knives too. I okay. I can do a lot better. One. And then does he have a gun? Any ammo? Okay. Got the throwing knives. I can't tell. I'm confused. Why is it going red way, way away from him? I 
got one more. gun is in here. Recover Arthur's weapons. Nice. Hell yeah. Much better. fish there we go now we're talking I was trying to kill all of them oh I'm out of here don't you guys worry about me. Uh, ah! Nope. 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 What? Where you going, Judge is going to fuck you. Dead hard for more when he gets here. Like this? They're too far. We ain't gonna catch up. Why is... He's drunk. Is it because he's tortured? Okay, the stamina's gone. Or stimulant. There we go. No! No! Uh, how am I gonna play this? Ah! Go! No! Oh my god, this is such a disaster. There we go. The arrows being on the other side of stuff is throwing me off so bad. Horse. Give it a carrot, give it a carrot. Okay. Let's go. Oh, come on, girl. Get me home. Come on, pickle. I'm playing bad because I'm hurt, okay? Immersion, realism. Oh. Charles has left a reward for you at your tent. Arthur! Arthur? Arthur? 
I told you it was a setup, Dutch. Oh, my boy, my dear boy, what? They got me. But I got away. Yeah, yeah, you did. Man, Scrimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. No, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. Okay. I got you. You're safe now. That's pretty, Tuss. That's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, Reverend. <laughs> Good. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. <clears throat> I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. Wow. Wow. Isn't it curious that that mission was for Micah and not Mr. Pearson? That makes you think. It makes me wonder for sure if... I don't know. Maybe I'm way off base. And if I am, that's fine. You know, playing games is all about... You know, speculating and trying to enjoy the story as it's happening, but I got a gut feeling that Micah is trash. So maybe it wasn't then that he's trash, but at some point he's going to be trash. We got to trim up Arthur's beard again. Trim all facial hair. We'll go down to a three. Need a haircut, big time. Where's Mike at? Let me go talk to that guy. I see Pearson, Reverend. Reverend Charles. Sadie. Tilly. Anyone see Micah? There's Sean. Is that John? Morning. Morning. No, that might be my. That might be Micah. Hey, shithead. Morning, Arthur. Hey, Micah. You're alive. Good. That was some business, all right. We are never falling for something that dumb Senor. again. Micah. All right. Well, I should be getting on. All right then, cowpoke. I'm gonna have to Google what cowpoke means. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But he's the one that suggested that I'm I'm on the ridge. And they knew that I was on the ridge. So maybe they were either just looking for me. And they saw me up there. Or he was told. Arthur. To tell me to go up there. Are you busy Arthur? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have no. even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. No. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, 
I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Okay. Roads. Because what can possibly go yeah. wrong there? Surely well, nothing. Lead the way and we'll find out. Okay. Honestly, this is perfect because I need a haircut, so... You sure seem to have got a bow around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? Okay. What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns oh, I for the forgot about that. of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, I guess. you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So, where exactly are we going? The train station. The clerk there, Alden, is quite a fellow. He's very informed on the comings and goings of coaches around these parts. Ah, I see. Okay, to the train station. I could pay my bounty while we're there. The thing that the thing is though, and I was reading your guys' comments, apparently if I don't pay my bounty, I could kill bounty hunters and they have a lot of money on them. So that's a thought. Okay, no weapons. Gotcha. I do like Tre Treylani's horse a lot. It's very pretty. I haven't seen the silver pinto since that mission with are. Albert Mason. Hopefully we, we see it again. Outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Okay. I don't know. Maybe I do trust Treylani. Well, not trust. That is a strong word, but maybe he's fine. Maybe he's just an odd guy. Oh, what's happening in there? Oh, go to Trelawney. Okay, going to Trelawney. Come on. Oh, Hang okay. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. Oh, all right. We don't want to scare him off. Oh, I almost forgot. Bill asked me to give you a message to meet him here in town as soon as you can. Something to do with the graves. Uh, I thought I'd nab you first. <laughs> you what could it possibly okay. be? Thanks. Are we meeting? How far should I hang back? Like, here-ish? Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. What? They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I horses know. carriage. My comrades the here car? and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No mm -hmm. man at all. Nope. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Do I? Oh, I didn't know how to... What am I paying him? Here. Ain't you kind, sir. Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay, well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. 
Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the... What did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it. Discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, <laughs> Alden. Or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. Adieu. I guess I paid him for the information. I thought I was paying my bounty. Like, whoa, there. Coach coming south down the river road through still or Siltwater Strand. Valuables in strong box. Passengers very wealthy. Miss Chester Damson. Aspiring but appalling opera singer. Use your imagination. Oh goodness. Opera singer that can't sing. Yeah, I can imagine it. What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. We're going to get it? No way Trelawney comes with me. Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. What okay. did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance. The unions are whipping them up. So they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Took the words Didn't right out of like my you mouth. Left anyone alive to recognize you, <laughs> so I wouldn't worry too much. I Dear wish boy, that was how it worked. All this trouble. You gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're oh, don't say be that. Long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? Okay. Right. Hopefully, nothing goes wrong. This crossroad, okay. Here we are. This is the spot. Okay, this should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Okay. Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. Okay. They'll be here soon. Can do. Lock breaker. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. Okay, okay, okay. I'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. Okay, avoid being spotted. I hope you don't mind my singing. Not at all. I'm preparing for a show. It's a free country. <laughs> Did you say a show? <laughs> it's a small benefit. It's black water. Did you say? Mrs. Chester Danson. <laughs> The singer. <laughs> Stop the coach, my good man! Stop the coach! That worked a little too easily. Does Trelawney have skills we didn't know about? Whoa! 
audience. They were rather cruel. New Yorkers are prigs and fools who believe Westerners don't know anything about culture. I couldn't agree more. Would, could, could you? It's, it's such a small show. But would you sing something for me? I, I'm looking for a mezzo soprano. Well, I, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it. Oh, she's going. West Elizabeth. She's gonna bust our eardrums. Okay, I expected worse. Okay, that Are wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but of this month, I can't say enough about Mrs. Damson. Magnifico. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. I was trying to close it, but I guess because I broke the lock, I couldn't close it. Yep. It worked. I needed a win, okay. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. Thank you. You Thank did all the you. work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, jolly good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. How much should we get from that? Total take, 750, gang share, so then we, okay. Of course the gang has to have their share, of course, of course. Hey there, girl. Yep. Hey, cool. girl. <laughs> Bill's in town. Oh. Got any more opera singers for me to rob? Morning, Arthur. Morning. We were just together yeah. ten seconds ago. <laughs> He's trying to get away from me as soon as possible. Understandable. Let's see. We gotta find a hairstylist. A barber. That's what they call it. Do we have one? I feel like we should. No, that's a butcher. Would there be one in the saloon? You're, you're looking real nice today, Bill. Shut up. <laughs> Everything's locked. Because I need to talk to Bill. A short walk in a pretty you, town. Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What are we doing? What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seemed legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what did they afford in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, oh let's so keep it that yeah. way, Sean. They think it was the Braithwaites. Listen, I know these Grey Boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud. But instead of playing both sides, uh. we're used by both of them. 
They were saying the Catherine Braithwaite. Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now no. it don't feel right. I could have told you. <laughs> that. still processing that the fact that I just watched Sean get sniped in front of me Woo! 
Damn. Oh, he was a good kid. Well, how the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up I once feel before. Bad. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you. Same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't hmm. know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what? Six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Very improper someplace, quiet. Micah? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. Well, so much for a damn haircut. He was like an annoying little brother to me. I feel bad because I didn't trust we him. we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we're making of things. <sighs> I, I, I judged him so wrong. At the beginning, I wasn't too sure. But then I liked him. And I don't know. Oh, we lost somebody. Damn it. <laughs> Why couldn't it have been Micah? <laughs> Why is Sean? <sighs> My goodness. I'm gonna set up a camp because I think if I do that, then I can sleep and read the journal. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to sleep for like seven hours. <sighs> you guys. I don't want to lose camp members. I get attached. <laughs> you guys know this about me. I get way too attached to people. Like, they can say hi to me. And I'm like, oh, so we're friends? <laughs> uh. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Rest by the campfire. Journal. Let's see what he wrote. I have been recuperating after an interesting encounter with Coma Driscoll. Dutch got into his mind to meet the bastard to somehow end all this lunacy. Only, Colm did not share Dutch's sense of honor amongst thieves. Whole thing was a setup to kidnap me, then lure all of the rest of us into a trap so we could get arrested and Colm could disappear away. Us somehow carrying off his sin. Along with our own to the gallows. Seems like Colm is enjoying this modern world even less than we are. More by luck than judgment I escaped and somehow got back here. More dead than alive and collapsed into bed for a few feverish days. After much nursing from Miss Grimshaw and Miss Tilly and much guilt ridden apologies from, from Dutch over his stupidity. I survived okay. My shoulder where I was shot. Ain't come down with gangrene yet, and I will live, if even uglier than before. Things is getting even more insane with the local population. My sense is neither the Greys nor the Braithwaites have a pot to piss in, but I ain't spent too much time with the l landed gentry. Whatever else they is, they don't make one believe in the nobility of the arist aristocracy? Well, boys, look who made an appearance. Oh my god! Okay. Okay. You guys know what I'm thinking? <laughs> hold on. Hold on, hold on. How, how, how am I playing this? Scum. Hey, move Back out. Stay ah! Pickle move! Pickle move! 
Well, well, well. If it ain't the consequences of your own actions. That sucks. Okay. Was that dynamite play not the perfect move right there? They were all in a group. <laughs> I feel pretty proud of that. Where's all the money that they usually carry? Dang it. Did I destroy all the bodies with the dynamite? It doesn't matter, because I survived. I'm trying to read my damn journal. Hold on. Do I have to tear down the camp? Why is it doing that? For whatever reason, I can't get the journal to open, so... I might have to go to sleep and then open it. Okay. What's going on? Everybody, just stay calm. Now is not the time to get hysterical. We're gonna find that boy. Former Finian raider killed in gun battle. Calm down. Huh. Relax. What boy? Jack? Just calm or Sean? Down. Arthur, have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Oh. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him. We will bring him back to you. And we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch, we just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Oh, you, God. Let's you guys. <sighs> okay. Okay, let's go get that boy back. First the Greys, now the Braithwaites. Is it break whites? I don't even remember. To out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know. I heard about Sean too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. Oh, please do not let something I happen swear. to him. I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. Oh, I'm sorry. If there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. I feel and sick we to are my going stomach. To fix it. So come on. Look at us though. Look at this group. My goodness, I would be scared shitless if this was coming after me. Okay, get your heads right. Nobody makes a move until I say so. Oh man, 
this is nerve wracking. They don't have anyone set up outside, do they? Nope. They sure don't. They should be thanking us. Oh well, I kind of got off pickle a little early. <laughs> now, Jack, we should have stayed out of all of this. Bit late for that, ain't it? Quiet. We're going to fix this right now. Like they don't know we're coming. Come on, let's get this done, John. You sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Okay. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us. I don't think so. Notice how quiet it is. There they are. Where? Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let it fly at those sons of bitches. Don, I need you to stay calm. Pickle, are you following us? <laughs> Get down here now, you inbred trash! I'm trying not to laugh. <laughs> Stop! Easy, John. We've come for the boy. He must have known we would. You shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land! Nope. That's out. That's all? That's it? If you ain't gonna be civilized about this... killed the kid. Him over there. Oh, that's Lenny.
my gosh. I gotta switch guns. Oh, break, sorry. Circle. One, two, three. Where's the kid? in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right, we get her out of here. Uh, uh, what about them? <laughs> now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, reckon they're all dead. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. You boys sure Jack ain't in here? We searched everywhere, Dutch. You got that one, Arthur? Uh, I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. Come here! <laughs> Wow. Down. Where is Jack? Down. There you go. I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. <laughs> what are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She... She'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine, but well, of course Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now we get that boy back and we go. Trust me. Hey Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors, a solution. Oh Good day, my. fine oh. people. Mr. Vanderland. My Matthews, God. I presume. My Who God. Rip Van Winkle. Huh. <laughs> Good day, sir. Agent Milton. Don't make me Pinkerton laugh, John. Detective Agency. <laughs> Agent Ross. 
Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we actually? owe pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. I don't this see Micah place. anywhere. Ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man. So in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear and go and live like human beings someplace else you came for me risk life and limb in this den of low lives and murderers so that they might live and love <sighs> ain't that fine <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to kill all these folk dutch just you in that case it'd be my honor to join you Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> what did yeah, they think was going to happen? We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. I don't see Any Bill ideas? or Micah. I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps Where outside at? San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get gone. Rest of you get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. Ooh. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot, Arthur. This is crazy. This is freaking this wild. More? Bill's right there. So Bill was there. He's just not wearing his striped shirt, so I didn't recognize him. Where is Micah? Is that him back there? Are we going then? Because I sure enough didn't see him in the group. I don't know. Hi, John. I think maybe I'm just being okay. paranoid because Follow me. everything. Ride to Shady Bell. <laughs> I don't even know what right, to say, John. you guys. We should be going for Jack. Oh. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail. We're at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew them right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. Way it's Dutch too playing many. playing his games. Hosea, too. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always? Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davy, Jenny. Look at what? the house burning. We can't change wow. what's done. 
can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run, but we'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Whoa. Dutch will come up with a big plan. I didn't we mean to press there, that. are we? No, 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 we're not, we're not. Come on. Now, I was saying something. Oh, yeah. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. Rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Lots changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. Like I told you, don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. I treated Jack bad. Abigail, too. I didn't want to believe he was mine. You know, when I was lost on that mountain after Blackwater, part of me thought I could just leave again and no one would ever know. All right. Should be just down this path to the left here. So, yeah. Where were we? But some wolves thought otherwise. Look, you're here now. And this spot we're going to, it's close to San Denis. What are you stopping for? San Denis. Soon as we get the others safe, we'll find this Bronte and get Jack back. So what is this place? Plenty found oh. it. Big old run-down plantation house. Another gang was holed up there for a while, but... We sent them on their way. Probably moved on to one of their other hideouts, what's left of them. Where we got that dynamite for the bank job. Shouldn't be any trouble. Just need to check it's all clear. Now, where have I heard that before? I feel like people are... Well, no, I don't feel. I know. People are getting fed That's up. It up ahead. Fed world up with the world. chaos. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. World's Come changing. On. The sooner we get this done, the better. Whoa. You sure this place is empty? Nope. I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, there's some people. Again. Boys, get ready. Damn it. Still some here. I can see that. You think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. What the hell is it you want? Didn't you get the message last time? Oh, shit. <laughs> get out of here. Now, go. Okay, okay, I'm going. Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you. You hear me? Come out where I can shoot you. That's it. Come on, come on. Ah! Will! You go. Now, why would you do that? I knew you'd come soon enough. You are some of the coward like you, the bounty hunters, the freedmen, the carpetbaggers, the army of criminals who stole our land and our government. I survived them all. Our fight will live on. Jesus. Oh. That 
Watch out, you are players do it. now, you son of a bitch! How's it looking up there? Well, I think that's a lot. Clear now. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. Good. Come help me with this, will you? Everything all right? Here, give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. <gasps> Follow me. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. This can't be good for the water, but sure. I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan. Got them in. All right, see you soon. Pick up another body? Okay. All the rest are upstairs. Some dynamite right there. Wonder if there's any gold around here. Oops. in the alligators it's paradise i love it miss grimshaw mr pearson would you two kindly work your magic arthur take a ride with me sure come on george yes could i have a word with you <clears throat> not now come on arthur can you believe that girl all i've got going on and she wants to talk everything okay with you two I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places. Maybe start with the saloon. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Interesting. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Possibly leaving the country. Where would we go? Mexico? Or... I don't think they would go north. Huh. 
Interesting. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Oh my god, the rainbow in the background with the freaking smokestacks. They're always repellent. Exactly. Wow. I'll find you in there. That imagery. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Wow. What? We're in chapter four? That escalated so quickly. I'm actually kind of shocked. Like, honestly, I'm processing. I'm very shocked at how quickly it escalated. It was going on like a slow incline and then it was like, zoop. <laughs> like, it just hit the fan. This has been quite the playthrough so far. I am so excited to continue, but I also feel like hesitation. I don't know if any of you guys have experienced that, but like, now that everything's getting crazy, I'm almost nervous to play too, because I'm just like, who else is going to die? Or what else is going to happen? Or what else could go wrong? Like, I'm nervous to get answers to those questions. Like, I don't want anything to happen to Charles. I don't want anything to happen to even Dutch, Hosea, uh, Lenny. Oh my god. I'm obviously going to keep playing. I'm not stopping. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps a lot with the videos. It means the world and I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you for the next one. Bye guys.